Yeah. 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 The Rugby Board of Education meeting is called to order. The Board of Education is in compliance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975 and the Public Meetings Act. The time, date, and location of this meeting was appropriately advertised by notifying retrospect as well as posting notices in the Barrow Hall, Rugby Post Office, Mary Holt School, Align Bagel School, Grace Downing School, and the Rugby Public School District website. Please rise and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call board members. Ms. Adair. Ms. Beebe. Here. Ms. Ruckheim. Here. Ms. Davidson. Here. Mr. Lego. Here. Mr. Murray. Ms. Panzarello. Here. Ms. Sams. Here. Ms. Spalding. Here. Also present, Mark Iucci, Superintendent of Schools, Sean McCarran, Business Administrator, Director of Curriculum Instruction, Jade Yezzi, Principal of Bingham Academy School, Steve Keeley, Principal of Bolt School, Steve Maloney, Vice Principal of Bolt School. Gladys is not with us. She's taking her son to college in Florida. So she let me know. That is why she's not here. And Frank Hines, Supervisor of Building and Grounds, has given us a few minutes because he's probably dealing with construction right now. <laughs> All right, any, I need a uh, motion for uh, approval of minutes of the regular meeting on July 16th. I'll make that motion. Motion should be by Chad, second by Maria. Any questions on the minutes? Roll call. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Ruffin? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Ms. Panzarello? Yes. Ms. Sims? Yes. Ms. Spalding? Yes. Motion passes. At this time, um, we're open for comments on any agenda items. At this time, does anyone in the public have any agenda items they wish to comment on? If not, then we'll move over to Mr. Ian Chief Superintendent's report. A quick update, as you can see, uh, walking in, some of the updates are still underway. We still have about 10 days left in the summer, so we're calling to the last minute, which is pretty much expected. Um, workers have been here six to, if not seven days a week working around the clock. Um, currently, our library is going to look like this, right? Any of our newcomers, if you're looking for books in the library, um, they're not here right now. <laughs> but this will be wrapped up some of the first week in September. This will be put in. Uh, so we'll probably come back here in September for the board meetings, not to look like this. Um, the pre-K classrooms that are being done are in their final stages. Uh, we'll be doing tile work. Frank, always feel free to jump in. So we might step in Tile work has been done in the the bathrooms. Um, all the walls are done, everything's up. Ceiling got approved today, so tomorrow all the ceiling tiles will be done. Good. So and then we just have fixtures, stuff like that, little things. Uh, one classroom the building's the floor tomorrow, that'll be done. And just little things here and there. The ceiling bathrooms right here have also been tiled, and then there's some of some fixtures in there coming up. The partitions were done today. Yeah. So that just needs which they got the approval tonight. We'll do the ceiling tomorrow, a little bit more tile work to be done, and put the doors on, and they're basically done again. Yeah. A lot of things have happened. We've had any delays just because we're waiting like a day or two or three for approvals to get some inspector to come out here. But they've been fairly good, I'd say, for the summer yeah. front. A couple of blips here and there, but nothing, nothing major. Um, other than that, all the big of them down here was fully clean. Everything is to stop there. Teachers Back to the last couple of days, set up classrooms. Um, that's about it for school projects at this time. A lot of new floors you'll see. This, this, these carpet tiles in here, you'll see them a lot in all three buildings as far as office space and things like that where they're not tiled. They're easy to maintain because if something were to happen, like from Karen spills his nice coffee or something, they just pop a tile out and replace it rather than. Um, information is being sent out to parents through parent portal, emails, text blasts, as far as from kind of information. If you're hearing anything, please let me know if you're not getting information. We also still send out some traditional mail, especially to our new families, our pre-K family, and <coughs> pre-K three and four orientation, which is coming up that first week of September. Uh, September 4th is our back to school event, 5.30 to 7.30. I believe I copied you on a letter that I sent to some Organizations. We've got a lot of feedback, maybe six or seven coming. Also, reached out to some other organizations. 
family services as well as safe schools. Uh, it might come out, we're still going to hear back from them to try to get some It will be a part of a, a bingo thing where kids will be involved with and have a visiting table of uh, bingo card and you know, get a prize. Uh, it's rain or shine. We're going to the shine. It does rain and we inside. Uh, first day of school for all students is September 5th. That's a full day for students. Um, you can just go back on the 3rd. And that's all we're going to do at this time. I'm going to compliment once again our maintenance staff and our administration for preparing the 19 school year. We still have about two weeks left. So, as I said in a text message earlier today, our email, the last two weeks long since the last one was crazy. You never know what happened. So, we're hoping we had. Last second meetings, the night before school started, we're going to have to have that. So. However, if you need it, if we, need we, it will get, we will be here for you. It would be on by September 4th around 525. So That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, will have that. we will be here if you need it, though. At least five of us. Feed you that night as well. Um, just preparing for opening dates, new staff orientation, so administration and staff has been working on putting together that for our new staff members who will be coming in. Um, we currently have our audit taking place over at our new facilities, so they're using the conference room over there. Um, we're still getting someone settled with everything, making sure that you know, everything is where it needs to be, and have everything organized as needed. Um, our pre-K teachers have actually they have done four days worth of training on creative curriculum. So they've done creative curriculum level one, creative curriculum level two training. Um, so that's been great that they've been able to have that experience. We've also been working with, um, in conversation back and forth via email, with the individual who will be the master teacher, who has um, a lot of experience with the state, and also as a supervisor of early childhood, and a teacher of early childhood, and a master teacher in other districts. So we're excited to have the outside view brought in in terms of building our program as we move forward with that. Yes. Mr. Isaac comes to construction and he, he made the comment about the spilled coffee on the carpet tile because the first day we moved into our new offices, I spilled my coffee on the freshly cleaned carpet. So there was a large brown stain in the middle of my office on day one. But, I think ownership of that. It's getting taken care of. Did he clean it? Uh, I was in the dog. Uh, uh, Send him the bill. It was bad. Uh, I, tried. I tried really hard. It was bad. Uh, Resolve wasn't cut. Well, uh, yeah, Resolve's good too. All right. Thank you. Any questions for Dr. McCarran? All right. Other district re uh, reports will resume in September unless you have anything you want to say real quick. Principals, you good? All good. All good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to the principals. Um, any committee reports over the summer? Uh, Chad, go ahead. Uh, well, I went to those board meetings at the uh, zoning board meeting. They had uh, just three variances were approved. One for um, building a pole barn. Um, one for a fence being placed on the property. The new variance. And the third one, probably the most important one, was. Uh, uh, Toyota dealership uh, behind the building put in some asphalt prior to getting permits and the way it was done it caused some flooding of the pumps and back up to them so they had to do some corrections and the borough people would say that. So that's what's happening in the building. Exciting. Um, Camden County Educational Services Commission, as, as I, you know, I still work with the directors there and really it's, there's not a lot happening in the summertime. One thing though that uh, I don't think it will impact our district for several decades, they've had uh, full-time teacher aides available for districts. Uh, this year, they are going to part-time, and uh, based upon the superintendent's uh, discussion with the board of directors, uh, they're probably going to eliminate it completely after this year. Uh, it's just not used that much, other than the city of Camden, basically, the name of the different agency. Uh, so I think that's going to be coming to an end. Uh, they are still working on the mental health program they want to initiate. But things have slowed down because the State Department of Education has jumped in and gone to uh, figure with the war pretty good. So uh, stay tuned to that. I uh, hope that does happen. 
Under finance, I need a motion to approve items numbers one through 11. I'll make that motion with regard to number 11. Second. Motion by Angel. Second by Naomi. I have a question. For number 11, how much did that increase from last year? I'm sorry, I should have asked this earlier. It did not. It did not, okay. Oh, I'm done. Anyone, uh, Marie, you have a question? Oh, no, I'm just costing. Um, oh, 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 okay. So, um, I can't vote on this right now. So. Okay. Just please take note of um, the dates for the school upcoming school board convention and make sure that um, Dr. McCarran also knows your, um, your intentions and try, you know, to make sure that they're firm. Roll call. So can we add to school warrants for Ray Pizzarello after that? For an approval as well? Oh, yeah. Um, he doesn't like you, I guess. I know. That's why I said I'm abstaining from this. It'll be silent for an hour. I'm not making a motion. I'm not voting. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it should be all school, all, all of us. And, and Mr. Hanchi and Dr. McCarran. Right. There you go. And then the admin. You're still on the phone. That's it. I need a um, roll call. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Buckland? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. And Ms. Benzarello? Yes. Ms. Sims? Yes. Ms. Swalden? Yes. Motion passes. We're in curriculum, Pat. I need a motion to approve items numbers one through six. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Chaz. I'll second. Seconded by Dennis. Any questions? Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Ms. Ruffin? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Ms. Shalego? Yes. Ms. Panzarello? Yes. Ms. Sims? Yes. Ms. Spaulding? Yes. Motion passes. Under policy and public relations, we need a uh, motion for number one. For number one, uh, again, uh, Karen Feldman, our Downing School nurse, found us another grant. I made two motions. Uh, see, now you're not quiet anymore, Maria. So I, and I thank her for that. Seconded by Patty. Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Ms. Schmuckheim? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Ms. Chalego? Yes. Ms. Panzarella? Yes. The Sims? Yeah. The Spalding? Yes, sorry, we're all mixed up here. At this time, we're open for um, public comment. Does anyone have any public comment at this time? Yes, please state your name and address, please. Um, Ron Cotrillo, 116 Maricourt. Thank you, Ron. I actually have a question about backpacks being left in their lockers during the school year this year. I read the open letter saying that they're thinking about doing that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how they would carry all their stuff unless the teachers are going to keep their supplies in their classrooms. And also, are the girls going to be allowed to carry their own handbags for personal items? That's what I was just wondering. Well, I'm going to take, <laughs> I'm going to make, ask Mr. Peely to answer the questions because I don't know if the school, the school, other school, I, I have the letter you received because yeah. I'm a parent. So yeah. we got new lockers. They're not, they're fatter been longer and when I was in over the summer one day Mr. Peely told me all the reasons why he was going to do that but maybe yeah I mean I know safety reasons I just well there was a, there was quite a few more than safety oh, I, but I'm not going to speak anymore okay. <laughs> I, first of all I would just you know next time feel free to call me in the office okay. um, but if you just want a quick explanation yeah. safety is a priority right now and it's going to
We're going to be extremely flexible with kids forgetting things, going back to the locker. We're not going to discipline kids for it. We're not going to give them zeros because they forgot something in the locker. Um, and we know the girls are allowed to carry yeah, it. Uh, but one, I, one, thing I, I'd like to, one thing I'd like to add is, and I don't ever ask parents to go buy things because I know there's a lot of school supplies out there, but they make pretty neat chrome cases now that fit for the Chromebook, okay. papers, pencils, and okay. all that organization. So I do understand all transitions are difficult. Yeah. So um, you know, I think that we can do the best we can and we'll hold the punches. And speaking of Chromebooks, Mr. Peely said something that, I mean, I've seen, I know you've seen lunch, and I've seen it where they're like all over. Well, when they throw their book bags, they're throwing their Chromebooks, and then their Chromebooks are breaking, so that would be the fourth reason to hopefully, like, lessen Chromebook repairs as well. And I, and I hope that, and you're absolutely well, I hope that there is not a lot to carry. You know, yeah. It's not like in the days when I speak myself, I don't know I Everything's now through um, digital. Google, it's all digital. Okay. Um, most of the textbooks that they have are left in classrooms. Um, so I'm hoping that it will be maybe uh, an organizer, you know, a Chromebook an organizer, and then um, you know, maybe a couple more folders and items like that. So I mean, I'm with, with the heft, with the heft weight of backpacks, I always feel like it's going to be less on the body physically yeah. than carrying things. But there's going to be transition jerseys. We'll kind of I will have to, and I'm going to speak for Rhonda just as a parent as well. Like, I think what Ms. Cucciarelli was saying was, like, we were asked to buy red pens and erasers and, and certain, certain, like, post-it notes and then line post-it notes yeah. and all these things and certain folders and certain colors. So we just want to make sure that we're trying to get, like, will that, like, that our kids are want to be prepared because I know her daughter would be like with, like mine. Yeah. Some they would want to they would not want to like get in trouble. I guess that's what I, I will It's the hot topic right now, Mr. Peter. I, I, <laughs> I mean I know you think we have nothing better to do but we're just moms and don't mean and that's what we talk about. Um, I think that everyone's gonna need to show a little flexibility as far as staff understanding that things will be forgotten. Hopefully, through the learning process, we can then um, ask parents to purchase things that teachers find a useful student transition around the school. I didn't want to put out there anything, go buy this, because I don't want to put more of a financial burden on people. Um, if I had a print things, I'd give it to you. I think it's going to be a trial year. And hopefully, by this time next year, I'm hoping that. Well, we all know that kids are better with change than adults are. Sure, yes. so we'll be fine. For sure they'll be fine. They'll be fine. We won't be, but they'll be fine. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No? All right, there's no need for executive session. And so our next regular school board meeting is September 17th here at Bolts. However, please be on notice that if I would like us, if we need any kind of staff or anything, we will be available for you. Um, just let us know. Um, let, let us know. Don't, don't feel like you're a burden in us because you won't be. Um, anything else with a bit of order? Samantha. Yes. I know it was an email to us in our updates, but I'd like to publicly um, acknowledge that uh, it was wonderful to see Mr. I at National Light out in front of me. Just said. It was, it was very like. Like people text me afterwards after that. I mean, I saw you there, but people text me afterwards. We held a standard where he needs to be more seen in the community, and he was at National Night Out in Robbie, just saying. He did not, he was very, he wasn't in Thank you for bringing that to our attention. I lost your question. All right, at this time, you can motion to adjourn. I think motion to adjourn. Motion to be by Maria. Second. Second by Naomi. All in favor? Aye. Ayes have it.